nyanya ni mesa. Vijana mm -hmm. wawili na wasichana watano. Mm -hmm. Eh. Jana kuna ito Evale na Iguta. Ile jina inaeleka sana ni na alama ni watu wanaita nyumbani. kataji meleta shida kwangu meleta mimi shida madhara ya ku ni nifungua mtoto akanipasua sasa nikapasuka nika nene sasa hiyo acho inaenda enda tu hivyo sasa nikaona ile kasi ya katikata inaleta hiyo shida nikakaa nimekaa na hiyo shida miaka kumi na saba nikiwa na hiyo shida sasa wakati hao watu wa kopa wamekuja kusunguka mimi nikaleta watu hapa hivi wakuja kutufunza sasa kutufunza hiyo kasi ya kikataji naleta hiyo shida ndio nikajua mimi ndio mmoja nimepata hiyo shida juu ya kikataji sasa nikasikia nikamwikia huyu mlese huyu mama mkijiti kamueleza niko na hiyo shida imetokea na hali ya kikataji sasa ndio akanichukua hospitali kanipeleka hospitali ya Lolonga kanikutanisha na wale nikapelekwa Eldoret sasa nikasaidika kutoka huko Eldoret kani tengene sawa kani nikakuwa mseri sasa naendelea sisi sasa ninaoendelea hiyo kasi ya kikataji naleta shida wakati mtoto wa mbele amenipasua mimi nikaendelea tu kupata wengine kwa sababu sijaambia mtu huwa na sali yangu hospitali lakini sijapatikana hospitali niko na shida sasa nikajifungua tu watoto wengine huyu ndio wa nyuma sasa huyu mdogo ndio ameleta nimeonyeshwa kutoka langisa uko na shida ndio nikaenda sasa nikakuja nikajua ni hiyo ni shida mbaya kwa sababu ameniambia hii shida ni shida mbaya sasa ndio nikakuja kutafuta huyu mama nimesikia wakifunza hiyo maneno yote ndio mm. nikapata hapo mm. kujua basi ni shida niko na na nyumbani wakati cho ilikuwa inatoka tu yenyewe ulikuwa uko unakaaje kwa nyumba na kuendelea na shughuli zako vipi kwa nyumba ilikuwa inafanya hivi hii cho iwezi itoki yani itoki saa yote hasa mm -hmm. sasa nikitaka kwenda cho sisi fika mali basi kwenda kujisaidia huko nikitoka kwenda na nyumba inatoka tu sasa nikifika huko chuo ni kubadilisha tungu na kuoga na kutoka sasa mm -hmm. hiyo ndio inafanyanga tu hivyo haitoki tu nikikaa mm -hmm. ikifika tu sasa wakati yenye nataka kujisaidia ndio mm -hmm. inatoka sasa mm -hmm. ndio nikienda kwa chuo naenda tu kubadilisha kwa sababu wewe si basi ngoja niende nikatoe mm -hmm. eh nitakuwa imetoka tu Hiyo wakati kuna siku nimefikiria kwanza mpaka nikakaa mpaka saa sijielewi juu ya sasa naona hicho inatoka na kuna mwenye ndasaambia ninakuwa tu kusema sasa nikakaa mpaka nikaisoya tu sasa nikakaa tu hivyo siku wakoba tena sasa mimi najichunga tu na kama nini isitoke basi nikienda mali sasa ninachunga tu kuoga mm. isinuke basi si kwa najua itaweza kwa nitasaidika kama nadhania sasa itakaa tu hivyo venye mapasuka hivyo hakuna kenye itasaidika tena sasa huwa nikiandanga hospitali sinajifungua ngo hospitali na sijaeambiwa basi uko na shida sasa hata mimi nikaona hakuna kenye ndaesa saidika tena sasa venye nimekuja kujua nitasaidika hawa watu wa kopa ndio wamekuja sasa wanakuja kutufunza sasa wanakuja kufunza wakasema kuna wamama wako na shida na sasa pasuka hiyo choi inatoka hivyo ama makojo inamwagika sasa nikafikiria fanya hao wanasema nikachukua tu nikasema acha ni niseme huwa nimenyamasa kwa muda nikanyamasa kwa sababu nimeokopa kusema mpaka nikaamua kumwambia huyu mama huyu Milton sasa zile mkotano imeisha nikampeleka yeye kando kaambia niko na shida fulani nataka nisaidie namba sako nikupigie simu sasa akanipatia namba sake nipatia namba yake nikampigia hata hata nikamkoa kwa kosa kumwambia si kuambia eh nikakurudi nikakaa hasa kama ndani nikaamka nikaenda safari kwenda safari sijani ni sijani hasa kuweka nini mpamba hasa yetu ikatoka kanichafua kwa njia kabidi nikaingia kwa duka nikanunua nini nikaambia wao mwingine nisaidie fungue ya toilet ni wengine badilishe 
Hasa sasa hiyo nikarudi nikakuja kusema nitaambia wima kwa sababu ni shida na nimesikia ina nasaidika. Ndio mm. nikaenda kwa moja kwa moja mpaka kwake. Nikaenda kumuelezea. Akanipeleka huko hospitali ya Lulunga. Sijaendelea na shule kwa sababu si kusoma kabisa. Kwa kuniaka shule. Hao bangu samani anakanga hataki kusoma kwa watoto wasichana. Sasa nasemesha tu form fulana. Sasa mimi sikuenda shule yote. Eh, ata ata. Ata. Mm. Sasa so, nika tayari nikakeketwa basi nikiwa na mwaka 13 nikakaa miezi tatu kama sijapona. Sasa so, nikapana nikaoleka. Eh. Sasa so, mimi nataka tu wasichana wangu wapitie hii sasa yenyewe tumekataa hatutaki kukatikata watoto tena. Kwa sababu mimi nimeona basi nimeshuhudia hiyo kikata kuna shida. Eh. Mm -hmm. Sasa so, watoto wangu watairishe siku moja hata moja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hata msia amekata, hakuna mwenye nataka sasa hiyo kasi. Hata ya meona shida fenye nimepitia, hata ya esi kubali watoto wako wapitia hivyo. Eh. Kwa sabu hiyo wawo wawo wa wanya wana kujanga kutufumsa, wanasama hiyo kuketaji. Wajo sasa siu mtoto wana keketu alafu hapo inakauka inakua kinonda. Alafu mtoto wakijaribu kujifungua, sasa wanajikasa alafu wanapasuka. Diyo hiyo tumekata. Eh. Kuna jambo la shule, kwa sabu watoto ya wasikisu, hasa wa mtoto wakiketua, hasa mtoto wana 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 mtu mkubwa. Kwa sababu masai wakikata mtoto anambia amuka umekua mtu musima. Sasa mtoto kwa amuka anambia amekua mtu musima hasa ya anajiawana kama amekua mtu mingina taki vile sasa. Na hasa kukata kasi ya shile. Hasa anawaleka. Sasa ndiyo tumekata hiyo kwa sababu ya watoto. Watoto wa masai wengi wa sumi juwe hiyo. Kwa sababu sayi watoto wakiketu anapatiwana tu. Hasa ni musibi wakikaa kama wajakiketu ndi watahendelea na shile. Hatutaki kabisa. Sasa mtoto wakimalisa shule, hamalisa kasi yake, hasa wakisema nataka kueleka kama hamalisa shule kabisa, hasi ataenda kwake kwa jusu, hamalisa kasi yake. Hasa anaenda kasi yake kwansa kasi yake umbia kwake. Lakini ukeketa japana. Henye tuliamu watu, atuwezi kufanya iyo, kwa sababu sisi ni watu wakanisa. Tuseme, kanisa zundi ya metusaidia. Hiyo wa masaya luguwa napenda hiyo kasi. Lakini wakati sisi tumepata watoto, sisi ni watu wa kanisa. Sasa ukipata na hiyo ukipata mafundisho, utashika, sasa uta... Mimi na wana tu siwesi kufundini, kufanya hiyo nini. Kwa hivi yo, ni kanisa zume ametosaidia. Tumeshika tu mwabema. Kwa hivi yo, ni hiyo tu. Ametosaidia. Sii kitu ingine. We invest about 70% of our work in engaging communities. And why we do that, Marcy, is because at the end of the day, decision-making around whether or not to subject girls to FGM are made at household level by parents or guardians of the girl. There may be pressure from the surrounding community, but if a family decides that we will not subject our girls to FGM, that decision is likely to stand. We, I, I will not say that uh, we have arrested many uh, because, uh, like I told you, overall the practice has gone down or rather underground so that they don't do it in large numbers as before. You know, previously the traditional setup, they used to uh, circumcise many girls at a go and there was a ceremony accompanying the, 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 the function. But nowadays, nowadays the, from the tidbits of information we get, they have actually um, resorted to doing it in the night. The wee hours of the night and singly, they don't circumcise a, mo a, a group. They maybe circumcise one girl at a time. So that it will be very difficult, even for the village elders. To, 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 to get wind of it. As much as we've been doing these, these campaigns and telling them, informing them of the risks that the, um, the effect that they will have once undergoing the, the cut, they still go on. Uh, one of the reasons that these women give um, is that, um, you know, the culture um, that is in this uh, is a community and the stigma that those are shared with those who have not undergone 
or so many reasons that now you if you haven't undergone the cut you 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 are a girl you're not a woman so even when they're there they ridicule you because of you haven't gone the cut so they shame you or that you you're not fit enough to be called a woman so with this uh, that uh, the stigma that is shared with this woman the, you you get a woman that would not undergo the cut now it's under pressure because of the demands of the community tuseme msiana kama age age ka aende kufanya kazi hawezi kupata majuto kwa hiyo mimi naona hii kazi ni mzuri nasema tu mtusaidie tu mtutembelee kwa boma najua bado watu wanahitaji tu mafundisho tu and for me the reason i think the practice persists is a misconception that first and foremost is a cultural practice that was intended to um entrench a particular set of values in girls that that has to be marked by a physical um by a physical cut and what we've been telling the communities is that we first and foremost respect their culture it is important that people understand that their culture is respected but we've been telling them that culture is dynamic and while it is important that people are allowed to pass over values that they hold on dear to we've also been telling them that anything that aims to establish values in a human being does not have to cause pain it does not have to be harmful it is possible to continue perpetuating the values that they hold dear to as a community without perpetuating pain or inflicting pain in a girl si wishi si mbaya lakini samani ilikuwa mbaya sana samani ilikuwa tumepata changamoto lakini si wishi kama watu wame hiyo kasi yamekuwa juu kufundisha watu watu wanawana serikali ataki najua wale wajaokoka alijaribu kufanya fanya na kuiba na wengine wanatoka kanisa ni kuiba kufanya fanya tu kujimisha kabisa lakini siku hizi ni kama hata watu wame asumbua hiyo hiyo sisumbua mtu kama mtu wajapitia hiyo nini hiyo sisumbua kwa sababu wenyewe wameona ni kama hata naye watu wame najua watu wanarefuka tu the effects of peer pressure so you will not discount the fact that some girls actively uh, participate in it but those are few but the majority as you well know are minors some 8 years old 12 years old you cannot expect a, such a child to have an opinion for or against it so in most cases they are forced by their parents children are more vulnerable and once their children are released to go home during the holidays they need to be in cage in terms of uh, clubs in terms of uh, attending uh, church services and uh, in terms of uh, meeting together keep them busy keep them busy uh, i would advise the parents to give girls school girls they they are necessary uh, or, or they are necessary basic needs like clothes school fees books and such things that which are wanted in the in the life of a school girl uh because when they miss this is the time they go out and look means and ways of getting these things they are not getting at home is that we had established a certain unwritten law that all the children when they go to school they examine medically so that we know who is doing that act now that was opposed by the community in fact that was announced by the county commissioner and there was a lot of resistance you see so the way he did it was not really proper because what we meant is when children go to school they have got what we call uh, report forms where the the the, the parents fill and there are positions where uh, the doctor is supposed to confirm whether the child is pregnant or not and there are also other conditions which involve in that form if they put a certain part in those declaration to make sure that the parents commit themselves to confirm that their child is not circumcised 
that will now make them afraid. And if, if, if it is discovered the child is, is circumcised, the child will definitely say who did it and when. You see? That can make people afraid to reduce that act of circumcision. Wasijana yangu, ni kama walishika tu hawatai kabisa. Hawatai kabisa. Aja nisumbua mimi. Mwana, ninawana wasumbua, yani wasijana wengine, wanasumbua wasasi. Hata wengine wanataka. Na sumbua Hata kila mtu anasikia hiyo ni kitu mbaya sasa. Sasa hiyo tukifunswa kila miaka, kila miaka si inaenda. Inaendelekea kuenda kabisa. Kama sayi miaka hii wajakeketa kabisa. Washana wako wanaelewa kusu ukeketaji? Yes, yata wanaendanga semina. Hata wa mekata hata wa. Wale ota ambao bado, yani wale wachache ambao bado wanaendelea na hii ukeketaji. Acheni tafadhali kwa sababu haina maana, haina umuhimu. Wala wata ambayo tumepitia ukeketaji kama mimi, mimi mwenye sijaona maana. Sijaona maana ili hali umekua hasara ndani ya maisha angu. Kwa sababu kama singe keketua, ninge malisa shule. Kama singe keketua, sayi ninge kuwa na kasi angu. Singe kuwa mama wanyumba. Ninge kuwa na kasi angu ambayo na mimi na jifudia na ayo. Lakini kwa sababu ya ukeketaji, mimi rudisha nyuma ke maisha. Ambayo naomba mungu, anisaidie sana na watoto wangu wapitie wa yani waendelee wa na masomo wasikuje kukaa vile mimi ninakaa ningewaambia hawa wasasi kwa maana sisi tumepitia ukeketaji wa nini wamshauri wamshauri daktari aache kukeketa wasichana wengine na hao wasichana wapatiwe wasome kwa maana ni wao njoo ni wao njoo fungu nini uh, I would advise the parents to give girls, school girls, their, their, necessary, uh, or their necessary basic needs, like clothes, school fees, books, and such things that which are wanted in the, in the life of a school girl. Uh, because when they miss, this is the time they go out and look means and ways of getting these things they are not getting at home. Circumcision is a deeply rooted problem, which was started a long time ago through the culture, cultural activities. Now, when it comes to the question of getting rid of it, it ha we have got to convince the community that is not go to, uh, to continue with the, the circumcision. For some, the apparent medicalization of female genital cutting without the pomp and color of ceremonies is an indication that this practice is on its deathbed. But for some, this medicalization is an indication that the practice has just mutated. Something that will make it more difficult to eradicate this societal scar. Dr. Masikorir, KTN News, in Narok County.